Hey math fans, Jason Marshall here with a special look at the Fibonacci spiral and its relationship to photography's rule of thirds from Math Dude episode 18. First, let's look at how the Fibonacci spiral is created from the Fibonacci sequence. We're going to draw a bunch of squares. A one by one square, another one, two by two, three by three, five by five, eight by eight, and 13 by 13. And you can keep on going. The length of the side of each square is a Fibonacci number. Now, let's focus on the following diagonal corners of each square. And then let's draw some sweeping arcs connecting them. What do you get? Indeed, that's roughly a Fibonacci or a golden spiral, a shape which shows up in nature frequently, including the shell of the chambered nautilus, which is related to octopus. But how does that relate to the rule of thirds in photography? Well, let's take our spiral and divide the image into thirds, both vertically and horizontally. Notice that the intersection of the two lines in the top left is pretty close to the eye of the golden spiral. Here's an example with a picture of a flower. Most people would find this composition to be pretty nice. There's something appealing about it. And it turns out the flower is positioned right at the eye of the golden spiral. If we crop the image to center the flower, it's not nearly as interesting. One more example. This guy's eye is positioned right at, you guessed it, the eye of the spiral, and it makes for a pretty striking composition. Okay, that's all for now. Until next time, this is Jason Marshall with this week's Math Dude Video Extra. Thanks for watching, math fans.